Currently, we are operating in five countries. Uh, we have 38 operating hotels. Most of those are in Thailand, uh, but we also have a presence in Maldives. We have two properties there. Uh, we're also present in Sri Lanka uh, and in Vietnam. And we just opened in Oma in the, in the Middle East. Uh, with our pipeline, we'll extend to 12 countries, uh, adding China, adding uh, Indonesia, adding uh, Qatar, adding uh, Dubai. Um, so our, our, if you'd like, our world, our, our, our uh, sort of first focus is uh, ASEAN countries, uh, Indian Ocean, and now the Middle East. And uh, our goal in the next five years is to double our footprint, uh, to go from uh, 60 hotels today to 130 hotels. So grow by about 70 hotels. And most of that growth will be of our brand new affordable lifestyle uh, brand called Cozy, uh, where we intend to have uh, close to 40 hotels uh, only in Thailand. And then uh, the second phase of cozy development will go outside Thailand and will also uh, maybe move into franchising. How many cozies are there now today? Uh, there's uh, one operating in Samui. We just opened in uh, just on 1st of December. Uh, it's been getting rave reviews from the customers who've been staying there. Uh, it's a, a brand that appeals to a younger demographic, uh, a sort of a tech savvy uh, traveler where they do everything with their smartphone. The smartphone is what they use to check in, and the smartphone is what they use as a key to their room. Uh, the smartphone, their own smartphone, one of six programs with the uh, reception, and they use it to call the reception. So they don't have to go beyond their smartphone, and of course, for, for that younger generation, uh, that's exactly what they would like. Uh, we've just broken ground in Pattaya, uh, so that'll be our second uh, cozy, uh, and we're finalizing a project in Chiang Mai. Uh, we're also in advanced discussion for uh, uh, our first cozy in Bangkok, and certainly Bangkok can support three or four cozies in Are are this growth uh, own properties managed combination? Uh, it, today, we're we're uh, thirty five percent of our hotels are owned. Uh, the 65% are with third-party owners, uh, purely managed. Um, our, our view is to uh, develop uh, along the lines of asset right, not necessarily asset light. Uh, so in our plan to develop, uh, to double in size, uh, by 2022 when we hope to have 130 hotels, uh, the percentage of owned will still be 35. So we'll continue to grow at the same proportion of owned, and the same proportion of uh, purely managed. Um, in Thailand, we have uh, several uh, land, uh, land banks that we can still develop. Uh, we have one in Cha Am, uh, near Hua Hin. Uh, we have uh, land in Rayong, which is an area that is developing uh, fast. Uh, right Where is that? Rayong is, is south of Pattaya. Okay. Um, and uh, we have uh, more land in Hua Hin, uh, and uh, so, so with the land bank, we'll be developing our own hotels, uh, and then we'll be accelerating our, our um, managed uh, portfolio. And we're also actively looking for uh, to do an acquisition. Uh, in the history of, uh, of Centara thus far, uh, more than 30 years uh, since, the, since it started, uh, we have only grown organically. And of course, if you do that, your growth uh, progression will be slower than, than through acquisition. So we're looking for uh, uh, acquisition opportunities in our ASEAN area, but also overseas. Uh, for example, we wouldn't go to Europe or we wouldn't go to a, a country in Europe just to do one hotel. That wouldn't make sense. It's too far away. But if it was an opportunity to buy a small group, five to ten hotels, then we would have critical mass and we'd be very interested in pursuing it. You mentioned that there are some plans in the Caribbean? That's correct, yeah. No, we're, we're really excited about uh, two projects that we're working on in Cuba. Um, the, uh, the original discussions uh, with our owners in Cuba was for four, four projects. And given that it's four projects, we felt it was a, a viable um, 
a viable uh, market to enter into. Uh, also because the customers in Cuba are essentially the same customers as are coming to Thailand. People that are looking for great family uh, beach experiences. Um, so uh, given that, that, that we have uh, already the clientele that will be marketing for our Cuba properties, uh, we feel very bullish about that. And once we have this presence in Cuba, we can use that as a sort of stepping stone from to develop in the rest of the, the Caribbean area. Wonderful plans. Uh, Marklin Lakelock, Deputy CEO of Centara Hotels and Resorts. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.